good gang? Hi, hello, welcome. Guess where I am today? I've been playing for the last couple weeks and Joe as well. I did try a new game, I didn't record it because it was giving me motion sickness, so we're back to The Sims. I'm here again with another challenge. It is the pre-made rooms challenge where I can only choose rooms made by Maxis. I'm gonna do that with a family of four. A mom, dad, a daughter, and a son. So I guess a perfect nuclear American family. I know I only had one one girl here. I only had time to make one person. If I if I stay in cast for too long, I will never leave. If you guys like these kind of videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave a comment down below, and if you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. And follow us on our social medias. Instagram is S-I-M-B-L-I-N-G-S-S -S underscore and Twitter is the exact same thing without the underscore. No, we can get into the game. So we are in Del Sol Valley on this lot. It's not the prettiest lot. Like, it's looking a little bit messed up. Just a little bit. You know, it's a little bit um, miscolored. Yeah, the grass isn't very happy. There's a random tree here. Bruh. Ignore this mess over here. This is my girl's house, the one that I play with often. I don't know what was happening out here. Ignore it, I don't know. Okay, so the plan today is to build a home with a minimum of three bedrooms. I'm going to try to do two floors. If I can, I'll stick with one. I don't think I'm allowed to put in stairs. I don't really look it up. This lot is kind of on like a curve, a little bit of a hill, but then it flattens out. So I'm not gonna worry about trains or anything. Like, look at this place. Damn. Damn. You got a boat and a trailer. All right, I'm jumping in without a plan. Let's go. I don't know what kind of luck we should go for. I feel like I always do a weird look. Whoa, those cabinets. Wait, wait, wait. So how am I gonna do a hallway? Huh? Probably should have looked this up. A home theater? These people better be balling. My question is, how am I gonna make it all flow together? Like, I can put archways, right? So I've decided to make this, yes, it's art, into the hallway leading into the house, so the entryway. I figured mom or dad can be an artist to all these rich people that live in Del Sol. So here we go. I placed it right here. So we got the center piece toilet. One day, mom was tripping Bruh. really hard during a night out. The toilet hole, and was like, Oh, Eye of the toilet holder. For a family of four, this would be a bit small. We're gonna stick her here. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. So we'll have to move this guy out of the way. Sorry, my dude. Okay, so enter the parlor. Here we go. They have some more nice decor. Maybe. Mom's an artist. Dad is interior designer. And together, this is what they've made so far. Yay! We have two very useless rooms. Should we go straight to the kitchen and then the living room, I think? This kind of feels like their vibe. So this room is called Upscale Recess. So maybe I'll do that. And then we'll put the living room here. Sorry, Rock. Okay, now I want to take this whole wall out. This house is already looking insane. I'm going to take out this door and stick in this door instead. Does that work? Kind of, yeah. I'll just move stuff up over a little. I'm gonna say moving stuff around is okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we don't even have a dining room. Apparently my goal is to make this as a not cohesive as I possibly can. I feel like the kids and mom and dad will have dinner and the kids are like, like, why do we have to have the tables like this though? Like, how come we can't sell like a normal family? And the parents are like, this is what aesthetic is. Do you not see this beautiful artwork? I'm gonna open up this side. I actually want to open up right here just because I feel like it go it flows better. Not a single bathroom on this side of the house. Love how every room is bigger than the living room. Okay, now on to trying to figure out this hallway situation. What's this a wizard's lair, an ominous observatory. How does one lead, you know, into another room without being able to have any hallways? So to get to the bedrooms, you have to go all the way over here. And let's get 
mom and dad's room over here. Ta-da, mom and dad's room. Maybe I can add a bathroom here. And this will go over here. It's bedroom one. Is that just a toy room? Okay, I'm just gonna grab a bed and stick it in because I love this room. This is a perfect room. We just gotta move some of this stuff over. Put that there. And this plant on this side. And there we go. Now we got a bathroom to put in. And this is the family bathroom, so it's gotta be a nice one for everybody. Where's the front door? Oh, where's the entry? All right, we set down all the rooms. I know it's kind of weird. Not just kind of weird, a lot weird. But we have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a parlor, an entryway. Um, a random room over here for planties. So this is what I've achieved so far for the roof. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing with the roof. It's like the hardest part of the game. I decided to add a back deck where the little greenhouse thing was. This is just such a perfect place for it. I think it's like, yeah, it's like right here. Obviously, I'm going to use one of these rooms. So far, this is what it's looking like. Not the best. Not a, a, my best work. It's looking crazy as heck. I did add a couple of windows to the house. I think I'm just going to go through with adding more. I'm trying to snatch up this window and I'm snatching everything else. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. I'm telling you, these people are super extra. Bless these people's souls. I did the best I could for them. All right, guys, I've completed the challenge. Yay. I did a little bit of crazy things in this house, okay? So don't judge me. They are meant to be a crazy group of people. So here is the entryway. There's a little bit of a water feature to the right side of their house. Are we gonna move faster in this mode? What the heck am I doing? You walk into the house. Here is the entryway. So mom's paintings, sculptures. Ooh, pretty nice. There's the ceiling, you know, the famous toilet. Then uh, uh, you head this way into these doors and you get the parlor. I don't know what the point of this room is, but here we are. And then when you head over to this way, it opens up like crazy. Like who did this? I don't know. And here's the kitchen. Very nice. Nice modern sleek looking kitchen. Mom and dad fought over the color of this. Dad wanted a nice modern look. Mom wanted something crazy and eclectic and they compromise on black. This way, through this door is the guest bathroom. Also has kind of the feel of um, the kitchen. And to our left is the main living room, their entertainment room. It doesn't look like much. It's one of the smaller rooms in the house, even though it's the, the part of the house they use the most. But here are more paintings, stuff that mom bought, things that they designed, whatever. In here, it's just a kind of a small green room. A bunch of plants are here. I just figured this was like a nice addition to the house. They add some greenery. Like sometimes the parents like to plant, sometimes they don't. And then over here, we have a dining room that's set up like a restaurant. There are two doorways to the back patio. And in the back patio, we have a hot tub, a seating area, and a TV. And I didn't add anything else. But this is what it looks like from the back view. This is probably my favorite part of the house. If we head back inside into the dining room, there is a door here. And we enter another surprise room. Mom's sculpting room and her art room. 
So this is what I used as a hallway. We've got the kids' bedroom on this side. But I love, I really like this room. I did have to add the bed because this room didn't have a bed. I guess it really wasn't a bedroom. And we have the family bathroom in here. I think this was part of Sulani. Here it is. Another funky design. It's a decent size, it's quite large. There's a shower, a bathtub, a sink, and a toilet. However, the toilet's like right beside the door. The toilet really should be on the other side of this divider. In here is the daughter's room. I was actually gonna give her a big closet that um, is one of the pre-made rooms, but I decided against it. That would be too much roof for me. And the master bedroom belongs to the parents. Of course, another crazy looking room. The house doesn't flow very well because you gotta go from one room to the next, to the next, to the next, and it's kind of annoying, but I couldn't figure it out without making hallway. So we're just gonna stick with it. I gave the outside of the house a uh, green siding and I kept this tile that's out front here that I got with one of the pre-made like patios. I think it, it goes okay. Like it goes well with the story of the family. It doesn't really go well in this neighborhood because look, look at that house. Look at that house. All right, guys, that concludes the pre-made rooms challenge. I hope you liked it. It looks a little bit crazy. Everything I make looks a little bit weird and crazy. I know, I know. But I wanted to do something fun and not have all the rooms look identical and the same and then just build a regular house. I wanted to do something crazy and see what I could do with the roof um, and how I can make the house flow, which I think it's okay. It doesn't look too bad. It, it's not for everybody, obviously. And that's why we have a crazy family to go with it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, uh, follow us on our socials. Everything's linked in the description. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye guys.